I wish we had a bloody army. Hello, folks, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're in the wrong place. We gotta go camp. Uh, for one, we're out of spells, and for two, uh, we've got to. We gotta level up. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to camp. We don't want a long rest just yet. We got some shit to do with Halson and a couple other people, but let's go ahead and level up first. Uh, that is not a thing to do. Here we go. So let's level up. I don't think this levels up our companions at all. I mean, it does the ones that are immediately in the party, but not anybody who's just here. Uh, yeah, continue doing Bard. That sounds fantastic. Font of Inspiration. What does that do? You regain all your Bardic Inspiration after a long or short rest. Okay, that's not great, but sure. Um, I haven't really been using Bardic Inspiration too much. Uh, inspiration just by itself from Shadowheart's been doing great. But occasionally this is good. Like the... The nice thing about inspiration, bardic inspiration, is that it's for anything. Uh, whereas inspiration from Shadowheart is specific as to what skills it can be used for. Like if bardic inspiration can be like the next attack roll, um, but that's okay. So improved bardic inspiration is oh nice goes to one d eight. That's cool, and we get a new spell. Ooh, what spell do we get? Uh, what do we got? Hypnotic patterns. Okay, we've already got clouded daggers. Fear is interesting. I don't know. Bestow curse isn't too bad. Speak with dead. You know, that just came up. We've got scrolls. We've got, what, like seven scrolls of that? So I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, Crown of Madness is interesting, but only... So, all right. So I don't know if you guys ever played a game called City of Heroes. It's way back in 2004, so I wouldn't... Wouldn't, uh be too surprised the answer there was no but in city of heroes you could play as an illusion hero um, and what an illusion hero would do would basically like they would stealth up to the bad guys and then they would mass cast uh mass confusion basically uh, kind of madness for everybody and the entire group would just go and attack each other and that's fantastic it's like a risk-free way to give some experience um, however, it was nerfed not too long after because, you know, it was a risk-free way to get too much experience. So, I understand here Crown of Madness is only for one dude. Um, the trouble here is that anybody you want to cast it on is going to have a will save that's going to negate it. And not only that, it only lasts for three turns. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's an interesting idea. I don't know if I want to do it. Like, mostly I think I just want damaging spells, right? I mean, there is something to the idea of, like, Nox, not a horrible idea. There is occasionally going to be a lock that Carlac's just not going to be able to open. So that's a thought. Enthrall. Uh, kind of don't have the armor for that. That seems like a really bad idea. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Enhanced ability is interesting. Stinking Cloud is interesting. Prevents the people from taking actions. That's not bad. Lift of Warding. Yeah, see, this is like like setting up traps beforehand. It's like, okay, yeah, we could do that. But also, like, we don't usually have the time. Hypnotic Pattern, maybe? I don't know. Really, like, Thunder Wave or Silence might be, like, the best one. Here, what is this one again? That is... That's Silence. Okay. Yeah, Animal Friendship is interesting, but I don't know. We don't need Lesser Restoration, I don't think. Nah, that hardly ever comes up. I mean, occasionally, yes, but the poison usually runs out. Now, if there's, like, Prowls or something... It's a, it is a melee spill, though. Uh, let's let's go with silence. It's a nice safe one. I mean, I'm tempted to go hypnotic pattern, if only because it's a nice way to negate some people directly in front of you. But the problem is that Will's gonna be in the back, so that'd be everybody, which is bad. What is this over here? That's the invisibility, right? Yeah, okay. That's an interesting idea. It does last until long rest. Is it? It's a spell slot. If it was a ritual, I would totally do it. Um, but it's a spell, so let's just do silence. Feather falls is a little tempting, but let's just do silence. We can replace the spell. Um, what do we have in here right now? Hold up, hold up, hold up. 
Calm Emotions. We can get rid of that. Heroism's great. I love Heroism. I love Heat Metal. I love Shatter. Disney Whispers I'm kind of so-so on. Fairy Fire's all right. Uh, Calm Emotions seems... Oh, that's why I got it, because it's a Frighten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So occasionally a boss will totally cast Fear. And that's why we want this. Okay, no, that's fair. Uh, we have not really used Dissonant Whispers. I'm not sure what we replace it with. Hypnotic Pattern? I'm not sure. No, I, I think we're fine. I think we just accept it. That's well done. Alright, Shadow Heart. Level 8 Cleric. Divine Strike Thunder. She's been going thunder like crazy. Which is really good, actually. Once per turn, deal 1 to 8 thunder damage. Okay. I thought it would be like once per short rest. I mean, no, once per turn. That sounds fantastic. Let's do it. Oh, good. You get a feat. Um, fuck. What do we do? Uh, let's see. You've got 51 hit points. I'm wondering if maybe like durable or sentry would work well for you. Okay, so let's look at sentry. Let's get sentry. Down, down, down. There we go. Uh, Sentinel, is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah, 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 okay, that's the one I'm thinking of. Sentinel. When an enemy within melee range attacks an ally, you can use a reaction to make a weapon attack against that enemy. Target ally must not have a sentinel feat. Okay. You get an advantage on opportunity attacks. We can hit a creature when to no longer move for the rest of its turn. See, that alone is pretty good. She does have a shield. I don't think you need to have a shield to have this, though. So I was wondering if maybe, like, Karlak should have this. Shadowheart's not a bad idea for it. The trouble is both Shadowheart and Karlak are going to be in the front line. So it doesn't make too much sense. You know, plus two dexterity saving throws will earn a shield. If a spell forces you to make a dexterity saving throw, you can use a reaction to shield yourself and diminish the effect's damage. On a failed saving throw, you'd only take half damage. Okay, see, as a shield user, this isn't bad for her. She's the only one who can take this, because she's the only one who ever uses a shield. That's not a bad idea. Uh, spell snipers, interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Tavern brawler, no. Tough, no. Warcaster. Gain advantage to maintain concentration. And use a reaction to cast shocking grasp at a target moving on a melee range. So kind of an opportunity attack spell. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, uh, maybe. I'm not sure what ritual spells we'd want to learn here. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, we don't need Long Strider. We don't need Enhanced Leap. We don't need Disguise Self. We don't need Speak with Animals. We do not need Find Familiar. And we don't need Speak with Dead. Okay, so that's just not good enough for us. Then. So, not that one. Uh, do, do, do. We don't have any pole arms. Performer's not good for you. You've already got armor on. Two maneuvers from the Battlemaster subclass. That's a fighter. A fighter subclass. Um, we've already got Magic Initiate, which I think is debatable, but okay. Mage Slayer? When a creature casts a spell within melee range of you, you have an advantage on a saving throw against it. You can use a reaction to immediately make an attack. Interesting. Uh, Lucky's not bad. It is a little annoying to be constantly asked, do you want to use your luck? Do you want to use your luck? Do you want to use your luck? Do you, do, 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 do you want to use your luck? Ability improvement's not a horrible idea. We can get their wisdom up to 18. That's not a horrible thought. Um, and constitution up to 14. So that alone might be worth it. Wisdom going over her is not a bad idea. I think, yeah, it's either going to be... Okay, so it's either going to be ability improvement. She does not wield a finesse weapon, so that's not going to help. Uh, no. I mean, detect hidden objects is not a horrible idea. Elemental? Ignore resistance to a damage type of your choice. She's been casting a lot of thunder. Can we ignore thunder resistance? Because that'd be amazing. Holy shit. That's not a horrible idea. 
because we've gotten a lot of those shadow guys with radiant damage, but if she can also ignore their thunder resistance, that'd be pretty awesome. It's a pity this doesn't work for, like, bludgeoning or piercing damage, but still, spell damage, that's not a bad idea. Ah, uh, so there's just too many good feats. There's too many... I, I want to get rid of this magic and a shared sorcerer. I don't even know why we have this. It was probably good early on. We probably got a respect for her. Yeah, this was probably good initially, but I think right now we're not really taking any good advantage of it. Um, the Warcaster is not horrible either, because of saving concentration. Maybe we'll just go ahead and do Warcaster. It's a nice, safe thing to do. Shield Master is kind of interesting, too. Um, so this is only if a spell forces you to make a deck saving throw. So the Warcaster might be better, because then we'll keep... Uh, the Spirit Guardians up longer. Yeah, okay. It's a safe one to do, but let's do it. Uh, concentration for that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, okay, so this just tells me that I get two things with it. Got it. Prepared spell-wise, I wonder if there's much, too much we want to do here, right? Uh, we've got a level... You have the Guiding Bolt from level one. I mean, I would level level four spell, but it seems unlikely. Death Ward and Banishment. Only for two turns. Now, I think I'd rather upcast Spirit Guardians than any of the other ones here. Uh, we do have Speak with Dead here. Which I totally forgot. Uh, so we do have Speak with Dead briefly. Okay, for some reason I thought we didn't have it. And animate the Dead. Beacon of Hope. Uh, for ten turns, yeah, maybe. If it wasn't Concentration, I would do it because Spirit Guardians is just too good. Daylight. Ooh, that's better than light. So I think uh, Will has light. But daylight dispels all darkness around it. Okay, let's do that. Because that's not concentration. Any level 1 spell I want to have? I mean, create water is not a horrible idea. Uh, command could work, I guess. Sanctuary doesn't really help us. Protect removal and good. We have a lot of potions, or a lot of spells for that, rather. Yeah, no, I think we're okay. I don't do bless enough, and I probably should. Um, if only some of these weren't concentration. Like, bless, unfortunately, is concentration. Um, I guess create water isn't. I've heard some people say create and destroy water is the most powerful skill in the game, and I don't understand it. I'm sure there's a good reason for it, but I don't understand it. Okay, I think we're good. Thanks, Shadowheart. Next up. Level 8 monk for Karlak. Additional key point, more health. You have spells? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna really like Gong of the Summit. It's been fantastic. I don't know if we need anything else from you. Oh, okay, so we can do. Uh, Scorching Ray is an interesting idea. So you actually get, like, mage spells. Touch of the Storm. Uh, we'd have to trade something for it, but maybe? So I guess we do have... Okay, so we have Thunder, Fire, Air, Water. Now, technically, Air is Thunder, right? Air and Thunder would be the same thing. So technically, we don't have any electric powers. Now, if you listen to Avatar the Last Airbender, electricity is a subset of fire. Um, there's definitely a thought to that. 6 to 20 damage, though. We're not going to be matching that damage anytime soon. Yeah, I kind of like the water whip. That's cool. We've never actually used Fist of Unbroken Air. Push the target back 6 meters and knock it prone. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. We should probably be using that. I don't think we want to trade anything. I think we're good. Oh, you do get a feat, though. Okay, so... An ability improvement is not necessarily going to help you. I guess we could increase dex to 20. Wouldn't be horrible. That wouldn't be a bad idea. That would definitely increase her armor class and everything else. Like, that would not that would be a horrible thought. Um, that is the safe move to do, and it's not a bad idea. Especially with bad guys around who are going to make shit happen. But, 
What I was wondering we could do, okay, we can't do Heavy Armor Master. I was wondering if we could do Light Armor Master or Medium. Oh, I can't even do Medium Armor Master. Uh, can I do any kind of armor? Can't do moderately armored. Requires proficiency with light armor. I thought you could just jump to medium. Is that not actually a thing? It's not actually a thing. Uh, you don't use shields. The monk with a shield... I had a character on a tabletop game where that's all I had. I just had two shields. And I took shield master and it was amazing. Um, but I don't think that really stacks the way... My, my DM was very, very nice to me, and uh, I don't want to, don't think that's going to happen. Uh, so, let's see, athlete charger, yeah. Now, your, your fists are your weapons. Well, kind of, right? She's using that club to give her strength, so. Uh, dual waiter's not going to happen, really. Durable's not really that great. Elemental adept. Yeah, only one at a time. Uh, if this was a level 20 campaign, we'd probably get this. I mean, you could get this every time you get resistant to everything, but it's not that great of an idea. Okay, so we can do lightly armored, but it's only light armor. Yeah, there are, there's occasionally some light armor stuff we want to be able to use for her, but I don't know if this is worth it. I'm kind of sad we can't just jump into medium armor, but I guess that makes sense. Martial Adept could be interesting. Disarming Attack. Distracting Strike. Evasive Footwork. Fainting Attack. Goading Attack. Maneuvering Attack. Menacing Attack. Precision Attack. Pushing Attack. Rally. Okay, eight, eight temporary hit points to a random alley is not a horrible idea. For post, have to kind of know that they're gonna miss, but she does have like passive defense and stuff, so maybe it could work. Sweeping attack, attack multiple enemies at once. Trip attack. Okay, there's some interesting stuff in here. I've not really had a fighter since like third edition, so there's nice. They added some additional things in here. Um, I don't know. You only get one superior die. I'm not sure. Yeah, I kind of want to jump to medium armor. I'm not sure it's worth it for light armor. There's occasionally some light armor stuff, but really it's probably better if we don't. Uh, savage attack, maybe? I don't know. Sentinel is a thought. Sentinel is a thought. Because it's happened a few times, right? Like an ally gets attacked and it's like, well, I really wish we could attack you too. Uh, you don't have any real... I mean, you have some spells. You don't really have anything. Tavern Brother would be okay. Tough would be alright. Uh, Weapon Master does not include Fist, so that doesn't actually matter. So yeah, it's either going to be Sentinel, or we go for the nice, safe ability improvement. And get two more in decks. Oh, the two more in decks is probably better. I'm going to miss Sentinel, but... Nah, we, we gotta we gotta get our decks up. We gotta get our decks up. There we go. That's the right thing to do. Because now we have a plus five to dexterity checks and yeah, plus eight saving throws, like that's just amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's there's no doubt. We gotta do this. Okay, Gale. Oh, sorry, we gotta get you. Okay, so level eight. Oh, no, we can't cast level five spells yet. No, 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 not yet. Okay, I mean, you could learn Dimension Door. I'm not sure that's too terribly handy. Blight. That's interesting. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Fire Shield. Well, Fire Shield would be nice because it keeps people away from melee. That's a thought. Gaseous Form is kind of interesting. Nox, okay. I mean, I guess... I don't think there's actually a single scroll of Nox in the game. I could be wrong, but I don't think it actually exists. So we're going to go ahead and grab Nox, just because I want Gale to know it. There might be a lock that Karlak can't do. I mean, she does get advantage, but it's 
not 100%, you know? The knock is at least 100% if it's at least a mundane lock. So, I'd like to be able to get knocked just to see if that works. Um, Resilient Sphere. You close a target in a sphere of shimmering force, blocking all incoming damage and spell effects. Sphere reduces the target's movement speed by half and also prevents it from casting spells or dealing damage. It's totally Wall of Force. Why aren't you just calling it a Wall of Force? I don't know. That's weird. Um, so, or Force Cage. Sorry, Force Cage is whatever I actually meant to say there. Interesting. Um, also can't be huge, so you can't cast it on dragons. But, yeah, interesting. Um, Force Cage can really be really interesting. Um, it doesn't take... Uh, if I remember correctly, it doesn't actually take the target skills into into any account. Well, you can't roll concentration and save from it, for example. Or, I'm um, sorry, you can't roll uh, constitution and save from it. So it's kind of worth it. Like, negating a boss for, like, three turns. Not a horrible idea. Sometimes you need to deal with the minions first. Now, it only does work on one guy. Yeah, that, that's interesting. I kind of like that idea. Polymorph also kind of works, but that does... Uh, that does go against, like, a will save. Stone skin. You know, every once in a while I think that's a good idea to cast on Karlak, and we've never actually done it. And banishment, which... Yeah, I don't know. I think we're gonna go fire shield. I think it's an interesting enough idea. I don't know. I, and the force cage is kind of cool. But it is only for three turns. I mean, he talked about his cat. I keep wanting to do fine familiar. Yeah, you know what? There's probably scrolls of fire shield. I don't think we've actually done fine familiar. I think we want we want Gale to have a pet. Let's do that. It's silly, but whatever. I'll try. You get a feet. Um, do you have concentration already? You got spell sniper, but not warcaster. Uh, I'm just thinking, like you know, this the sleet storm last episode fell apart because he didn't maintain his concentration. So, Warcaster might be the way to go. Sendlows aren't really good for you. Sharpshooter does not work for you either. Tough is kind of interesting for a caster, but not really. I mean, I think we gotta go Warcaster, right? We could go, like, mobile or... Okay, so you have... You have light armor? Hold the phone. You can wear light armor? No. No, you can't. It must be a monk thing. It's got to be a monk thing, right? Yeah, because he doesn't have he doesn't proficiency in light armor either, but he can just jump straight to medium armor. Oh, no, he can't. No, he can't. It's blocked. Okay. Oh, that's medium armor master. No, no, no. Moderately armored. Yeah. Okay, so something, something funky there. I don't know. It's weird. Um, we could do ability improvement. We could do intelligence and get it up to 18 and get his dex to 14. That would at least increase his armor class and the number of spells. Yeah, actually. Actually, yeah. Let's do that. Because intelligence is number of spells, right? Yeah, improve spellcasting for wizards. No reason not to do that at all. And get your armor up a little bit. I mean, it's not going to help too much, but every little bit does help. Uh, your spell book, I think, is good right now. I don't even need to worry about it. Global 4 spells are interesting. I don't think we've actually done any of these. Average black tentacles we have. Like, Wall of Fire is kind of cool. Let's just turn out one for Wall of Fire. Let's do, um... Get rid of Detect Dots. Grab Wall of Fire. That could be interesting. I mean, more than likely, we're just going to upcast, like, Fireball or something. But still, if we if we get a chance for Wall of Fire, we should probably take it. Okay, that's not everybody. That's not everybody. Uh, we need to go get our other companions. Like, for instance, Lazelle. If death is soon to take Karlak, 
She should make every moment as rich as the last. Fight viciously, roar loudly, step boldly. She must make herself known. I think she's already done that. Okay, I'd like you to join make me, please. Space, and my might is yours. Ready for battle. Okay, so now she's in level up. There we go. I don't get it. I will. Okay, level up you. Not that we're really gonna use her all much that much, but every once in a while it might be good to have a fighter on the team. Or a paladin or whatever. Yeah, so Paladin level 5, which actually would be pretty good, I think. With the Branding Spite, with the Magic Weapon, yeah, 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 let's do this. I don't see anything wrong with this. Okay, mm Branding Spite, Karlak's already been using, and it's not all that great. Uh, protection Poison we've already got. Yeah, I think we're okay. I mean, really, Wrathful Smite's kind of more her jam. Dueling. Command doesn't really work. Let's drop command and grab heroism instead. Okay. Oh. Did I just totally miss? I missed out on level up for her. Whoops. Whoops. Well, our protection's awesome. You and a nearby allies gain at, well, plus zero because she doesn't have the skill for it. I think it's based on intelligence and she just doesn't have a good intelligence score. So, the aura protection doesn't do anything, which is too bad. Um, and we can't change that. Okay. That's kind of hilarious, though. Oh, whoops. No, don't don't use you. Uh, switch back over to Will. There we go. Okay, so we also have the other companions. Um, here we go. These guys over here. Don't talk to the kids yet. We're not ready for that. Uh, but these guys right here. So, we're going to write song. Hello. This vessel is at thy disposal. The vessel only stares blankly. This soul. Okay, I don't know. I've been leveling these guys up every time. I don't know if it's actually worth it so far. We get a small preview of what Will can do. Okay, level four spell slot. That's fine, I suppose. Uh, nothing fantastic in here. I mean, polymorph's interesting, but yeah, not not any rituals we know or need. So sure, why not? I'll grab polymorph. Doesn't actually matter. Uh, don't think we want to drop anything. I think we're good. Okay, so can you learn ritual that actually helps me? No. No, you do not. That's too bad. I was hoping for, like, I don't know, hero speech or something, but it's not a thing. Performer? I mean, you've already got a musical efficient. You've already got... Yeah, I don't think that actually helps me at all. Uh... No, no, not Warcaster, not Sentinel, not Ritual Caster. Yeah, unfortunately, lady, you've got nothing I want. Which, honestly, is too bad. I mean, sure, you're already, you're already halfling, so you already kind of have lucky, but fuck it, do it again. Okay, so unfortunately, the bard so far has not been worth the cost. That's too bad. What about the, oops, no, uh, you. Defender of the people. What about the druid? So, what were you before you were this? This vessel is at thine disposal. Do. But the vessel only stares blankly. This soul. You level up. I don't know if no you've been all that useful either. Occasionally, the long strider we come from you, but mostly that comes from the cleric. Yep, nothing fantastic in there. Uh, I think same ritual caster parts apply, right? We don't actually have anything we want there. I mean, yeah, we already know both those spells, so that's not really going to help us too much. All right. So, no. Uh, you can get skilled, shield master. Yeah, okay, nothing fantastic in here. Why don't you go ahead and get Warcaster, and then we'll just ignore you. Because that's not handy. Okay, 
Okay, and then finally, the cleric, who has actually been... This vessel is at thy disposal. But the vessel only stares blankly. This... I mean, the warding bond's been pretty good. Let's move. He's taking some damage because of the warding bond, but that makes it worth it. Potent spellcasting, what does that do? Your god grants you even more intense power. You can add your wisdom modifier to the damage you deal with cleric damage. That's great. Oh, because he's Selyun. Okay, so that's why. Uh, Shar does not appreciate that kind of nonsense, which is why Shadowheart doesn't get that bonus. I think the ritual caster is going to be the same for you, right? I don't think we have anything special. Sometimes there's cleric-specific rituals. Oh, we've already done ritual caster. Okay, well, so much for that. Uh, do war caster, because I'm never going to actually put you in battle, and it doesn't matter, so there you go. Okay, I think that's it. Shop is ever. I'd like to give this, like, house and everybody else. We can't actually do it. Uh, where is Halsen? So you've always been a bone man. In a sense. Okay, let's talk to you, Arabella. I've got to tell you the bad news about your parents. Hey, you. I made it. Easy peasy. You find mum and pops? Well, yes. For once I find myself at a loss for words, they're gone, Arabella. I'm sorry. No. No, no, no. I don't believe you. I wish there was simply another tale, but it's not. I'm telling you the truth. They'd never leave me. They promised. I mean, that's not a promise I could hold up. Get away from me. Go. Oh, poor Arabella. I'm not sure there's anything we can do for her, really. Uh, there was another kit. Now, where's, where's Halson? We need to find Halson. Also, probably need to put Karlak back in the party, right? Yeah, let's go get Karlak back in the party. Hey, Karlak. Hey, soldier. Uh, yeah, you got your second upgrade. How does that, how does that feel? Like I got something back. Something I've wanted for a really long time. When I touched you, I felt like a real person. My heart was racing, but I didn't hurt you. I don't have to be afraid of myself anymore. I don't have to hold back. <laughs> Not sure the world's ready for unleashed Karlak, but it's getting it anyway. Thanks to Damon. Thanks to you. <laughs> Thanks to fate. All right. Well, what are you going to do with your newfound freedom? Touch! Touch everything! Touch everyone that'll let me. Shake hands, dance a waltz, maybe even kiss a face or two if I find a good candidate. Good for you. The world's my fun house. All right. Um, we're not going to we're not going to dwell on the negative part. We're just going to go ahead and let you Me too, wanted. soldier. Gods, me too. For every knock we take, I feel like I get a little treat just to keep me going. All right. Um, I didn't actually want to leave, though. I want to put you in the hey, party. Hey, soldier. You know I'm up for it, but your party's a little full. Excellent. Let's go. I mean, I probably... I just want to do that just in case when we talk to Halson, if there's a fight. Well, later on, we want to uh, start up again. I need to swap out again. Okay, so I think Halston's like way off in the distance for some reason. He prefers Gale from company, I suppose. Yeah, all right, Halston. What have you got for me? Anything good? Thaniel is resting. But it's no easy slumber. I discovered what's wrong with him. Well, that's great. The shadows rendered him in two when they bore him away to the Shadowfell. Half of his essence remained here, amidst the curse. What stayed behind would have been the strongest part of him. But after all these years left in the darkness, corruption must have taken hold. Well, crap. We totally met that kid. And I think we beat him up a little bit, but a little, little bit. I think he's fine otherwise. Yeah, so tell me how I can help. It's both simple and not. We need to find Thaniel's missing half and make him whole again. Only, 
The missing half may not come willingly. The curse will have sunk its tendrils deep, twisting Thaniel's essence into something else. All right, I met a sort of shadow child before, a little boy named Oliver, around Daniel's age, and frankly, it seems unlikely that it's not related. And you saw this boy yourself? That can't be a coincidence, but we need to be sure. And I truly mean we, if you wish. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. All right, leave it to me. This doesn't have to be your burden alone. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. He already said that. If you want me, I'm yours. Against the curse, against the absolute... Anything. Just say the word. Um, I'd really actually kind of like you in the party, but I don't know... I mean, I guess it would be a replacement for Shadowheart, right? Druids are basically healers. Kind of. I mean, that's not exactly what they are, but they're, they kind of fulfill that role. And he'd be a good frontline person, too, so we wouldn't be losing anybody on the front line. Because he, you know, he can wild shape. Uh, I am kind of curious what your level up abilities would be, so yeah, go ahead and join me right you now. You are blessed with several companions as it is. Perhaps dismiss one if you require me. All right, Shadowheart. Swap Ready out. at your side. I mean, I want Shadowheart's story, but yeah, I'm curious what's going to happen here. So he's like level one right now, so we've got to level him up. There is much to do. Yeah, he was level one druid. Okay. So as level two, we get the specialization. So yeah, I mean, it makes sense for him to be Circle of the Moon, right? Because he does love his wild shapes. If we want to, um, yeah, we want a lot of minions. We could do Circle of the Spores. And Circle of the Lands are like a really good healer. You still do to get wild shapes, but not as many wild shapes and not as often. Uh, basically, Circle of the Moon can Wild Shape as a bonus action. And Circle of the Land can Wild Shape as an action. Um, you know, I'm already playing Circle of the Land in my group game. Let's go Circle of the Moon for a little bit. The hell. He won't get as many healing spells, but that's okay. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know. Um... Yeah, all these are fine. It's gonna take a while to level them up. Okay, so those are level two spells. Uh, the moon was actually really good. Let's make sure to drop, let's drop restoration, and pick up moonbeam. Uh, Spike Growth is also pretty good. I think we want to go ahead and cancel Goodberry and get Spike Growth. Okay. Dire Raven. Okay, so let's get you... Resistance really doesn't work out too well. Um, You know, Guidance is okay. Especially if Shadowheart's out of the party, he's definitely going to need Guidance. For this, I'm um, getting your wisdom up's not bad. I'm kind of sad his intelligence is that low, but we can work with it. Uh, Warcaster is not a horrible idea. Durable doesn't unfortunately matter. Uh, in Wild Shape, your HP and armor get replaced anyway. Now, there are some things that do actually work together. Um, Dual Wielder doesn't. Lucky kind of does. Mage Slayer kind of does. Um, Savage Attacker does. Savage Attacker in Wild Shape is actually, like, not bad at all. Warcaster is a little tempting. Um, but I think we're going to go Savage Attacker. Let's go Savage Attack. Actually, Sentinel might not be a bad idea. I'm pretty sure Sentinel and Wild Shape totally work together. At least they should. Uh, prepared spell to wise, I think we're still good. Wild Strike, what does that do? 
Make an additional attack after making an unarmed strike in a wild wall shape. Great. Prepared spell wise. Okay, now we can get level three spells. Uh, Daylight's not a horrible idea. Sleet Storm's pretty good. Plant growth is really interesting, too. Um, movement speed quartered. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and swap out Entangle. Uh, the Vine Service, I mean, it's kind of the same idea, right? Kind of the same idea. I think I'm going to swap out these. Sleet Storm's not bad. We've already got someone doing it. Uh, Gale can cost Sleet Storm, so it's fine. That is pressure from energy. Okay. Don't worry about it. Alright, prepared spells again, but we're good. We don't want to train anything else, so that's fine. Okay, now I get level 4 spells. Uh, so, I've tried out the Grasping Vine. Uh, it does drag creature toward itself, but it also has hit points. So, it's not as great as all that. I think probably Wall of Fire again. Uh, Ice Storm's interesting, too. It does not require concentration, because it's only, like, once. But it is a huge, a huge area. Dominate Beast is kind of interesting. Blight's kind of interesting. I think we'll go ahead and keep this right now. Okay, last one. Saber to Tiger. That's pretty cool. Alright, ability improvement might be the way to go here. We've already done Warcaster. Oh, no, we did Sentinel, didn't we? We did Sentinel. Um, yeah, go ahead and do ability improvements. Boost your wisdom up by one, and... It doesn't matter right now, but concentration up is not a bad idea. Or constitution, rather. Because um, that'll work with concentration. Yeah, strength doesn't really matter. Dex, maybe... I mean, the trouble is there's no really building permit right here. We can't go to plus three until we get to 16. Now, the trouble with having Halston in the party and not Shadowheart is we lose the Spirit Guardians. The hero at heart. Uh, I mean, we can try it, but I really like Spirit Guardians. Um, we could trade Karlak out, but that would be sad. Definitely do not want to trade Gale out. Actually, trading Karlak out might be the way to go. I mean, I like Karlak. She's great. I don't know. Let's go ahead and rest up. Yeah, in the day. Anybody want to talk? We good? Don't see anybody wanting to talk right now, so I think we're okay. Will the only one in that group? No, no. I was going to say Will's the only one that actually sleeps, but no, Karlak does. Okay, no special anything about for that. Okay. Alright, so this has kind of been kind of a filler episode as we go through and just make sure everyone's leveled up. Uh, we want to make sure... Let's... Maybe we want to take Karlak out of the party. Shadowheart's just too damn valuable, I think. I mean, Karlak's great, too. She does a lot of damage. She does a lot of damage. Um, all right, let's get this vessel is at thy disposal. The vessel only stares blankly. This soul looking ahead. All right, you need to go ahead and cast. I mean, long strider, yes, but also protection from poison. So we've been doing that, and it's actually been working out pretty good. Um. Sorry, I've lost my way there. There we go, Long Strider. Okay, get away from the kids. Let's. We should probably talk to her again, right? That kind of makes sense. She's probably probably a time to process. Hopefully. Hey, Shadowheart. I don't know if we're putting you in the party or not, but get to we'll do that just in case. I mean, she does have some pretty cool weapons too. Yeah, maybe we keep her in the party. Just hate we can only have four. Okay. 
there was a game I can't remember where it was there was a game recently where you could have like I want to say it was like a hundred different characters and they could all be in your party at the same time it's it was chaos absolute mind-bending chaos and I totally forgot what the name of the game is it was like hundred heroes or something like something like that I don't remember I don't remember it's been a while okay we have not been doing special poison here um, okay we got to decide on party composition we got to do it so Carlock's fantastic right she does a lot of damage she's a good front line she can't be touched like especially right now with the ability upgrade she's actually been doing fantastic Lazel, good fighter. Overall, decent damage. Uh, however, we really have room for one melee person in the group, right? I mean, there's Shadowheart, or Halson, or Karlak as our melee people. But really, we need Will in the party, right? Because he's the main character. We need Gale in the party because having a wizard is so incredibly useful. Yeah, I think Lazelle's just out just because there isn't room for her. We could carry five people in the party. She would absolutely be in. But with only four, I just can't justify having her in. Shadowheart, though, is really kind of amazing. She's been great. Her story is interesting. I needed. And it kind of feels like she might have the, I mean, one of the more compelling stories for sure. So I do want her in the party. But Karlak has some great stories and great voice lines as well. Not to mention, Karlak is our lock picker right now. So to not have her in the party kind of screws us over a little bit. Yeah, much as I love Halson, I think we're putting Shadowheart back in. It's about time Halson actually stepped up and joined us properly. He's certainly been taking up space at camp for long enough. Wow. Okay, um... Yeah, what do you think about Kethler Thorpe? Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. Uh, probably death and destruction? Alright, go ahead and join me. It seems like you have ample company already. You Wonderful. I was beginning to feel a little left out. Yeah, but see, she's got a fantastic weapon. She's got a good story that behind her that I'd like to explore more. Yeah, yeah, I I feel sad if we left her in the party, out of the party rather. Now, Halson could take the melee role, right? He could wild shape the entire time and go absolutely nuts. Not to mention having like a secondary healer in the party. Not a horrible idea. Mm, I mean, yes, but also no. Okay, before we bring, uh, before we bring Karlak back, we gotta Despite decide who the boarding bond's gonna go on to. Uh, probably should be Will or Gale. Oh, Gale's got the lowest armor. No, no, it's gotta be Gale. It's gotta be Gale. No actual question. I just can just... Just had to say it out loud. Okay, so wording bond. Upscale it. There we go. Then if Gale gets hit, it's not immediately fatal. Uh, we'll do the protective poison as well. Okay. Uh, protecting her poison on Carlax is probably not a horrible idea because she is the front line, and then that'll probably be it. Yeah, so basically the party stays the same. We did a lot about it. We leveled up a lot here, but I just wanted to make sure that I thought it out first before we just jumped and said, okay, that's it. Halson is really tempting. But I don't think we can really replace Gale at this point. Now, maybe if Gale died... Which is a possibility, right? He could easily die. Um, like story-wise, it could totally happen. Defender of the people. 
He's got that quest after all to kill himself, so. Halson is one hench elf. I'm impressed. And glad he's on our side. Yeah, but I don't want him to replace you. So we're gonna Looks like your troops all trooped up. You'll need to send someone packing if you want me to join. Let's hop. Alright. Should be good. Should be good. Alright. We're ready to go here. But that's it. So it was a nice little filler episode. We got an, um, tied in. At least Halson's theoretically joined the party. We'll see how that works later. Right now, thanks for watching. This has been Baldur's Gate 3 on PC Universe. Your PC Universe soon. I'll see you guys next time.